Hello, my name is Jamie Bunting, and today I'll be describing Dr. Montessori's um, observations that she's had over the years and how her, her ideas have shaped what we know as the popular Montessori method today. Um, some of Dr. Montessori's observations of children with mental and emotional problems um, have really shaped, I think, her overall. If she could do it for these children, she also wanted to know how to do it for normal children. So through her guidance and ability to move children out of their inner chaos and allowing them to become more engaged in materials is what helped her students with mental and emotional problems. It helped them become exceptional students and learners at such a young age. As Dr. Mon 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 as Dr. Montessori explains, these children who came to her uh, were very tearful, frightened, and shy. But by age four and five, they were reading, writing, washing and dress dressing themselves, scrubbing tables down, watering the plants in the garden, and interacting happily and politely with their peers and adults. Um, some of the observations that change your ideas about education of young children is really understanding that children, young children even, have the ability to reason. They have the capability of reasoning. And this is what uh, she emphasizes is it's about developing that active mind, being able to concentrate on skills, but really developing their reasoning ability, abilities and allowing them to become the person that they're capable of being. She, she said fundamenta fundamentally, um, developing an active mind and developing these concentration skills are one of the most important skills that a child um, needs in order to maintain um, an adult-led, a healthy adult-led life. So rather um, than just transmitting knowledge to the children, um, it's about really preparing the environment where the teach where the child can teach themselves and self-regulate and be able to concentrate on things for an extended period of time. That's how they develop that active mind. Um, and really, some of the benefits, um, I mean, overall, these, these children are significantly above average. They are reading and writing by the ages of four and five. You t you, in their development, you see such a drastic change from normal children to when they're, they're learning different skills and abilities. I mean, they're, they're way ahead of the curve, than you'd say, than just in their average. And when you look at their domains, I mean, they exceed where they should be children in um, Montessori schools. And the limitations can be that they might get bored of a material very quickly once they've mastered it. So it's being, you know, constantly being able to provide materials that are interesting and engaging is, it can sometimes be limiting or challenging at times. Um, <clears throat> what Mar uh, Dr. Montessori learns while observing the children um, with sensory materials is this was one of her biggest achievements because, or her biggest um, discoveries, as she referred to it, was really watching the children uh, engaging in a certain material. And if they didn't, weren't able to really concentrate on it for an extended period of time, she discarded it. And or you know, if they were focused on it and for hours, and then they really wanted to figure out how it worked and perfect the skill, she would absolutely keep those those games or toys or sensory materials. That's how she designed the overall materials that are used in the Montessori method today. Um, sensory tables and sensory learning um, really facilitate exploration and actually encourage children to use scientific processes while they play. They create and explore. So, you know, blocks, some of the basics, blocks, water play and sand play. Um, they, some of the, a lot of the games we play together, you know, with our peers, the social, social interaction that they have. Dramatic play is a big one. Um, you know, these are all sensory, this is all sensory learning that takes place on a daily basis. So, but what Dr. Montessori would emphasize are the actual materials that are being used are critical to, you know, the development of these children's minds. So, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed.